Hello reception. I can't believe that we are at the end of our last week before the half term, but we have a very, very special bake today. It's one that actually we've never done in reception and it's all to do with Jack and the bean patty stalk. Jack and the bean patty stalk. What a strange name. Hmm. This is the picture which grow, goes with it. Now I notice, I think these leaves are from the bean stalk. I bet you know who that is. The giant. Should we read our story and find out a little bit more about what we are going to be making today? A very small lad with a very big heart lived on a very small farm with his very small mother. They had a very small field on which they kept a very small sheep called Minnie. Everything was very small, but Jack and his mother didn't mind. It was theirs and that's what mattered. But one winter, bad weather ruined all their crops and the food in their very small cupboard ran out. There were not even beans to make Jack's favourite patties. Jack and his mother dearly loved Minnie the sheep, but they knew it was time to sell her. We need money to buy food, Jack, but we have nothing to sell except our dear little sheep, Jack's mother said with a tear in her eye. You must take Minnie to the market. Be sure to get a good price for her. Her wool is the softest in all the land. So Jack led Minnie the very small sheep away from the very small farm. But because Jack was so hungry, he had already forgotten what his mother had told him to do. He came across a man on the road to market. That is the most beautiful little sheep I have ever seen, the man told Jack. I will give you five magic butter beans for her. Why are they magic? Jack asked. They are the finest beans in the land and they will yield a crop like no other, the man replied. That sounds like a fair deal, Jack said. Minnie's wool is the finest in the land too. Poor Jack had an empty tummy and an empty head. So off Jack went with his butter beans. He had a spring in his step and a song in his very big heart. But when he got back to his mother, she yelled at him in a surprisingly loud voice for a very small lady. You sold our sheep for five butter beans. We can't even grow crops on our land, Jack. These beans are worthless to us. Jack's mother threw the beans out of the window and stormed upstairs to bed. Oh, Jack felt awful. He wasn't quite sure what to do, so he just curled up in his very small armchair and went to sleep. The next morning, Jack woke up to a weird rustling sound. He looked out of the window, but all he could see was a forest of bright green leaves. Fighting his way out of the front door, he looked up and gasped. <gasps> An enormous beanstalk had appeared from nowhere, switching all the way up to the sky. A giant beanstalk means giant beans, Jack thought to himself. Maybe we'll have something to eat after all. So Jack started to climb. It took a while, but eventually he poked his head through the clouds at the top of the beanstalk. Jack couldn't believe his eyes. There in front of him were piles and piles and piles of butter beans. And second, sat among them was a huge, hairy, <gasps> giant... There was a thunderous rumbling sound and the giant rubbed his tummy. Fee, fi, fundily, foo, oh, why can't I remember the words? The giant wailed. Fee, fi, flopsy, flip, oh, that's not it either. A tear the size of a fish pond rolled down the giant's nose and splashed onto the ground, nearly drowning Jack. Uh, um, excuse me, very large giant man, Jack squeaked. I, um, uh, I heard your tummy rumbling just now. I think you're forgetting things because you're so hungry. The giant squinted at the ground. I am very hungry, very small person, said the giant. 
I'm too big to go to the market, so all I've eaten for years and years is butter beans. I just can't bear to eat another one ever again. Well, Mr. Giant, I'm hungry too, said Jack. If you give me some gold, maybe we can help each other out. So the giant gave Jack a gold coin that was almost as tall as he was. Jack scrambled back down the beanstalk with it and ran all the way to the market without stopping. Jack spent the gold on crates of eggs and sacks of breadcrumbs and herbs and spices. He called his mother, told her his plan, and they hauled the crates and sacks up the beanstalks together. Dinner's ready, Jack announced after a short while. He and his mother dropped a huge sack of steaming butter bean patties in front of the giant. The giant declared the patties to be the yummiest food he has ever tasted and invited Jack and his mother to tuck in too. Fee, fi, fo, fum, the giant roared in delight once his tummy was full and his memory had returned. From now on, he declared, I will give you gold to buy ingredients if you will make me tasty meals from my beans. You will always be welcome to eat here with me any time you like. And Jack and his mother never went hungry again. Fee, fi, fo, yum. So, what we would like you to make this week are Jack's bean patties. And what they are, are, burgers but they're burgers without any meat in them they're made with butter beans exactly so in your ingredients you'll find butter beans you'll find some herbs and spices and breadcrumbs just like in the story so remember follow your ingredients weigh it all out really really carefully i know you'll be expert at that now and then follow your method. Now it's only a very short method for this one so hopefully they'll be nice and easy to make and make sure you remember to send me your pictures of these burgers and let us know what they're like because as I say we've never made these burgers in reception before so I can't wait to find out all about it. I will see you next time for another story. Happy baking everybody!